Aloha Ohana, I'm Pastor Limo Milani here. I wanted to share with you guys today some things that are personal and some things that I think a lot of us, um, pretty much everyone is going through, okay? And why I say everyone is because everyone has a past, okay? And whether you may be in a position where you feel like you don't care what other people think, you know deep down inside you do. So. We're just going to be real with one another right now, okay? And be transparent about some things that we're um, suffering in silence about, okay? Because we all know, we all know that this world, the way this world operates, it's like going big popularity contest, okay? If you don't believe me, Look at the famous people who are already well known and famous for either their name, their brand, their music, their art, or whatever it is that they do, okay? They're already well known, but they have to continuously producing work or acting in movies or singing songs in order to stay on that on top of the totem okay on top of the pedestal for everyone to see <clears throat> hear and know okay so it's one big popularity contest okay and i'm gonna get down into the nitty gritties about the ways of this world because you're already in it you see it if you have eyes to see you see it if you have ears to hear you hear it and if you're hot it's not hardened by this world by now. You feel it, okay? Some of us has got so numb to the things in this world, now we're normalizing it because we no longer feel the sting of the stain of that sin. See what I'm saying? Like adultery, okay? Adultery. What is adultery? Some people think adultery is just when... Um, a wife sleeps with out of her marriage she sleeps out of her marriage a husband sleeps out of his marriage meaning he defiles the bed she defiles the bed yes that's an adulteress but do you know an adulteress is someone who also lusts after another woman with their own eye okay like boom you see when when chick walking down the road and you're looking at her and you're like oh yeah that's an adulterer okay but people don't, people don't feel the sting of the stain of that sin anymore. Because why? All the popular people in this world, they normalize it. Sexuality, they normalize it. I too at one point thought it was okay to, to please myself. I thought it was okay to dress however I wanted to dress. I thought it was okay to be with whoever I wanted to be with. Okay? I'm going to read something to you that I wrote last night. Okay? This I wrote before I went to bed. I just want to share this with you. It's like a, a poem and a message to written for those who are being ridiculed, judged, slandered, and um, being cast aside. Okay. So this is what I've written. Okay. It's called Examine Yourselves. Dissecting one another with your words, you cut into yourselves, speaking of sins committed by another, pointing at the speck in your brother's eye. Shockingly, you are able to see with the lumberyard in your own eye. Passing judgment upon one another, casting stones that you have no place throwing any, only casting shade on yourselves for the righteous rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I pray God has mercy on you. Don't you know that he loves you and me too? Put away your microscope and examine yourselves. Demantle your telescope and walk by faith. Remove the covers from your binoculars and open your eyes. Fix them on the one who forgives, saves, and transforms lives. Fix your eyes on Jesus Christ. Re-examine yourselves as, oft as often as needed. Praise God in Jesus' name. Okay, so that's like a little poem and kind of like on writ that are written for those of you who are being ridiculed and judged, okay? And slander. Here we go. We all have a past, okay? 
Your past is God. Your past is in God's hands. Whether you surrender it all to God or not, nothing is hidden. Okay. Let me read it one more time. We all have a past. Okay. Your past is in God's hands. Whether you surrender it all to God or not, nothing is hidden. Your enemy is irrelevant. Fix your eyes on the one who saves, forgives, and transforms lives. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When you repent, Christ washes you with his blood. A surrendered heart knows who to seek above everything else, including themselves. The enemy can't touch your future because you are secured in God's hands through the blood of Christ. Jesus died on the cross bearing all the sins of the world. Amen. Praise God. So I have these four scriptures over here that I want you to take the time to go and get into the word. Okay. So the first scripture I have for you is Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 11. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 and 19. And then Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11. These scriptures will be in the description box below for you to go ahead and elevate your ears to the word of God. Let that bugger marinate in your heart, okay? In Jesus' name, let that marinate in your heart. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you guys, time and time and time again, you know, people, miserable people, they, they love company. So miserable people like being around other miserable people. You think so... The people who stay doing good and they focus, you, you think they're out there slandering other people's name? You think they're out there talking about other people's business? No, they get their eyes on the prize, okay? They focus and moving towards their goal, the destination or what they need to do. That's the only way you can get anywhere in life is you focus on you, okay? When you look and you, you have the audacity to to laugh or scoff or mock or slander or judge another all of that what you're doing to another is all of that is what's going to be done to you because who is the one who is the judge who is the alpha and the omega god he's the one who judges okay he knows that we are all sinners now my question is do those who slander and judge others know that they're a sinner too? They might think, oh, I don't even believe in God. So they just go and carry on and keep judging other people because they don't believe in God. Okay, well, then you need to pray. Okay, as a bystander, seeing that these people are slandering each other's name, pulling each other down, casting stones, and just being the most ugliest version of themselves. If the reason, their reason and excuse is because they don't believe that there is a God, then now me as a bystander and as a witness to Christ Jesus, I know that there is a God and he's a living God and a present and current help in my life. So what am I, what am I to do? What has the, what has God put me in the position to do? To pray? prayer to be a living example amen to stand for righteousness and to what share share the word of god with who our neighbors our friends and to pray for who those who prosecute you bless those who judge you pray and bless them up why because they need jesus just as much as you and i okay because they don't believe in God doesn't make it make it irrelevant or okay to sin because you don't believe there's a God so it's okay you can do what you like it doesn't work that way okay it doesn't work that way some people living their life like they're living in one on one on reality tv show but little do they know even reality tv shows have scripts okay not everything on that show that they're portraying to you because it says reality that it's real don't you know that everybody on instagram and on facebook and whatever platform there is 
out there online do you know that that's not the true essence of that person people show you what you want to see or they'll show you only what they want you to see okay it's a big popularity contest nobody wants to be raw and real nobody wants to admit they were wrong nobody wants to admit they're a sinner nobody want to admit that they're weak nobody want to admit that they need to do work and that they need help and that they're in pain and that they're suffering in silence but it's not okay for those who don't believe to continuously to oppress those who are long suffering but praise God that the more hard that they press the more higher you are lifted up you just hold on tight because Jesus Christ is a deliverer his rod and his staff will comfort you protect you he's your shield and he is faithful praise God I know because I am an evidence to that I'm experiencing that. I've experienced ridicule, judgment, slander all my life. From a child, to a teenage, to a young adult, to present day, and probably to the very day I take my last breath. But I do not care. Why? Because the enemy is irrelevant. Praise God. Jesus Christ already done everything on that cross for me and you and the world. So you're really going to let what other people get for say about you those who are tripping and slipping and flipping and tweaking and whatever else out there in the world they're doing you're not better than nobody and they're not better than you the whole thing and the whole conversation with we are all sinners and it is written that god has given us his one and only begotten son so that we may be saved in hopes that we may be saved okay those who believe in him not just know him but those who believe in him trust in him seek him put him first daily diligently consistently per persistently seeking pushing walking and working and carrying your cross okay at one point, I was carrying my Bud Light around with me, okay, instead of my cross. I was carrying my Bud Light around with me. Before, I used to be rolling my doobies, smoking my buds, smoking my weed for my anxiety, for my depression. But what would happen? I started indulging in it to where I had no control, okay? So I used to numb out with alcohol, numb out with the weed, numb out with sex, numb out with irrelevant relationships that I knew never have no there was nothing gonna come of it I could tell I know already nothing was gonna come out of it why because I could see what the other person wanted for me and all they wanted was what was between my legs and guess what honey I'm not the only one with one flower get plenty of flowers out there I am more than just one flower to be pollinated this flower pollinates by sharing the word of God and that's what I am here today for that is why I have breath in my lungs that is why I have the light of God shining with me so within me so bright is to do what God has created me to do to elevate my sisters and my brothers and to be the living example you know what as much as the enemy wants to come up and puff up and act like they're tough and they're rough and they're all hardcore honey I've seen it all I've been through it before I even went learn how to properly string words into a conversation. I've seen the most wicked things as a child. Those things never break me. Those things made me stronger. Why? Because Christ Jesus was the one who was right by my side from day one. The Lord is with me every step of the way. <clears throat> and you know, each step we take, Be humble about your progress, okay? You're not going to go too too hard. Because you know what? 
we're going to share. I used to be that way too. I used to get so excited. I like, share my friends, my family, share everybody, tell everybody what I get going on, what I get going good. And, you know, I'm so excited to share. And I like bring them along for the journey. But honey, I'm going to tell you right now, with God taking you, they cannot come with you. They cannot come with you. God going to take you places where you're going to be isolated and you're going to be all on your own. Not alone. You're going to be on your own. Meaning you're not going to have your parents by your side for hold your hand. You're not going to have your friends, your girlfriends over there for hold your hair back. You're not going to have nobody for catch your back but Jesus. The Lord going to put you in a position where you're going to be vulnerable. Where you're going to have to face and deal with the things and come to terms with what you got to come to terms with. Who is the one that can set the record straight? Not you. Not I. The only one that can set the record straight. And what record are I talking about? I'm talking about your past. Okay. The only one that can set your record straight is the Lamb of God. Okay. Christ Jesus. No matter how hard you try, no matter how much you try, explain and, and um, speak your side. Right? Testify upon yourself for for, for let them forget them for understand where you're coming from and why you did what you did. They're never going to understand. They're never going to want to hear you. They don't care. All they want to do is laugh and slander names. They just want to have fun in watching someone else suffer. Okay? Jesus doesn't want you to hold your enemies on such a high, high, um, pedestal to as if they get the upper hand on you because they don't the enemy cannot touch your present and he cannot touch your future all they can do is play around with the crap from in your past but the only one they're stinking up is their own hands their own hands is getting dirty by digging up by over there examining them so closely that the stink from your past gets stuck on them Amen. God don't wash you clean. God washes you clean when you repent. Or repent. 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 You're you giving them to God. You're giving him your all. The Holy Spirit when, is discerning for you. Pulling at your heartstrings. Telling you, hey, hey, no, no, not, not that. No, no, don't do that. That's not good, you know. You feel them in your heart when you know you're not supposed to be doing something. That's the Holy Spirit leading you and guiding you through. Okay? He is your compass. He gave you a line back to walking straight and right with the Lord. Praise God. Okay? Don't you know that you have the authority to trample on scorpions and serpents? The enemy is a serpent. The Lord gives you the authority to trample, to tread and trample on thy enemy. Amen. And you going how? Not on your own. You helpless. You defenseless. You are nothing without God, without Jesus Christ, without your Lord and your Savior. You have nothing. Jesus Christ is the only one who can save you and offer you salvation. It is through Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm so happy I shared it with you guys. You know, the Lord was cooking that up. So last time when I went, <clears throat> I was in my office studying. And then, you know, I could feel, in my spirit, I could feel, um, the enemy's attempts at trying to play mind games with me and stuff like that. So I felt them was heavy, was heavy. So I said, okay, no, I'm gonna give them to the Lord. I'm gonna give them to God. I ain't carrying this. this. This is ridiculous. You know what I mean? This is ridiculous. The past is dead and gone. Amen. I have no desire of anything that was in my past. Okay. What I desire is what I'm, what is on my lips today, and that is Jesus Christ. Okay. Praise God. On my lips and in my heart. Praise God. So. I said praying right. I pray and then. I close my I close, I, my eyes are closed. And then I, I was thinking. 
about what I, what I felt and what I've heard with my ears, what I heard with my physical ears, and then God was going to show me a vision, okay? So he didn't show me what I first I thought was on door, but the angle of it was more like on pit, okay? At first I thought it was on door, but it was kind of like angling down like this, so I was like, okay, so that's on pit. But then the pit went disappear, the pit went close up, it would disappear, and, it, and then now it was a rod standing straight up. Oh man, I just had a good washing and lifted feeling and I just smiled and I was like, praise God. I was like, thank you, Jesus. Okay. God, he got you covered. Okay, he got you covered. Your past, your present, and your future is in God's hands. In Jesus Christ, he is your rod and your staff. He is your comforter, okay? And the Holy Spirit is the one that's going to lead you and guide you to and through truth in the mighty name of Jesus. Surrender it all to the Lord. Everything and anything that is weighing heavy on your heart, you repent, okay? You repent, you give it to God. You give it to Him and you ask for forgiveness, okay? Nobody can tell you when. Nobody can fully tell you how. But he is going to show you when you can no longer hold on to it because you've been holding on to it so long. It's so heavy. It's about to bust loose like a weak dam. Like the thing already leaking, right? And then boom, all of a sudden the thing is going to buckle loose and the water is just going to flow. Okay? The Lord don't, don't want you to be all dammed up, okay? He wants you to be free flowing he wants you to release it and let it go it's no longer for you to hold on okay there is true peace in christ jesus and only the lord can free you and set you free okay there is liberty in the mighty name of jesus no matter who turned their back on you no matter who pointing the finger at you no matter what you have what you have done you know all the things that you have done. You, you are not proud of it. You want to get rid. You just, you just, you, you sick. You sick and tired of sinning. You sick and tired of keep doing the same thing over and over and over. You, you like break the cycle. You tie it. You like break that generational curse. You like break that bondage and that trauma to your past. Where you gotta give it to God. You gotta surrender. One willing heart to surrender. And to submit to the Lord. And to seek first the kingdom of God. Honey, it is not an easy journey, okay? But it gets better, okay? The Lord is the one who's going to help you, guide you, and lead you through, okay? Put your trust in the Lord, okay? Put your trust in the Lord. Elevate your ears to the word of God. Stay rooted and grounded in prayer, okay? Stay rooted and grounded in prayer. God loves you and Jesus loves you. He already done it for you. He doesn't want you to carry it anymore. He doesn't want you to carry it any further, okay? Smile and be happy. God loves you, okay? There is joy. Endless amount of joy. Okay? Eternal love. Never changing. And God's love never fails, okay? His love never fails. Okay? Jesus Christ, you're impressive. you for you and I. He can push through for you and I. Everything that you need is in Christ Jesus. Elevate your ears to the word of God, Ohana. Okay? If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you already subscribed, thank you. God bless you. Thank you for your support. Amen. And um, on my... Um, on the de description box below, there will be my email if you would like to request a prayer request, share a testimony, or if you have anything you want to talk about or anything like that, you can go ahead and email me. And I also have a website below there. It doesn't belong to me. I have no rights to it, but I'm just sharing as free information and resources that are out there with you guys. <clears throat> it's a website where you can get free Bible study guides so that we can get rooted and grounded in Jesus' love, elevate your ears to the Word of God, study and get to know the Word for yourself, okay? It's important. It's a personal relationship between 
you and God, between you and Jesus, between you, our Lord and our Savior, between you and our Deliverer, okay? Your salvation must be worked out personally with the Lord. <clears throat> Praise God, okay? Praise God. Give it all to the Lord, okay? Give it all to God. And remember now, his love and his grace is sufficient for you. He is the one who provides you with everything that you need. First seek the kingdom of heaven and everything else will be added to you. God bless Ohana. In Jesus' name, amen.